What's up all my skaters? Today we're talking about the five tricks to learn after the ollie. This is part two. Let's go. Shout out of the week goes to Mike Hallman for leaving a comment about how he might start skating again. Mike, I hope you do and I hope that this helps you. Also guys, if you missed part one of this series, I'll leave a card here and a link in the description below for you. All right guys, as always, there's timestamps below in case you feel like skipping around. But trick number one is the body varial, commonly known as the sex change. Let's go. A body varial is simply you jumping up and doing a 180 with your body while your board stays in the same direction. So to do this, jump up, start leading with your shoulder, and then follow with your head. This will allow for a slow controlled rotation to keep you in balance and land back on your board and right away. Also, it doesn't matter what direction you turn, but go ahead and practice turning both directions just to get comfortable. That way you can switch it up. All right, simple enough on the body varial. Trick number two is the pop shove it. The magic of the pop shove it relies on the scooping of your back foot. Notice how my back foot is pointed in and pushing back behind me. My front foot is simply starting the ollie and then lifting it up and pushing it just slightly in front of me. But really, this is all on the back foot. To do this, place your back foot on the inside of your tail and when you pop, you simply scoop it behind you. Trick number three, which I'll admit I'm not very good at, is the backside 180. Let's give it a go. The backside 180 is done by turning in the direction where you're opening your back to the direction you're heading. This is completed by rotating your shoulders as you're starting to ollie. Notice that I'm looking down at that subscribe button so I can smash it. And then I'm continuing slowly rotating my head to look in the direction, following through as I'm landing so I can ride out of it. To complete this trick, I suggest leaving your back foot in the normal ollie position. And really you're just guiding your front foot forward, similar to like you would with the pop shove it, and allowing your head and shoulders to continue rotation around. It does help if you wanna try this on a bank first, as you can actually shortchange the rotation, not doing a full 180 to start getting used to it. All right, so trick number four, I'm splitting it heel flip, kick flip, whichever one you prefer. I'm more of a heel flipper. I just started kick flipping, but we're gonna go ahead and cover both. Starting off with a heel flip, because I personally think it's easier. This is done by kicking your foot off the front of your board with your heel and making the board rotate underneath you. Notice right here in the freeze frame, my heel is coming off of the concave and the nose of the board, and I'm kicking my foot up and out. This lifts the board up, causing it to rotate, and now I'm coming back, catching it with my back foot first and coming down to try to land cleanly. The kickflip is the exact same thing except you're kicking with your toes off the opposite edge of the board. It helps try to land one foot first before you try to get both on there. But notice as I'm kicking up, my foot's going off the corner of the concave and the nose and then I'm flicking my foot up and out. This lifts the board and rotates it and causes it to even out. Landing catching with my back foot first and then landing cleanly. You'll need to play around with the positioning of your front foot to see what's most comfortable with you, but keep your back foot in the main ollie position. All right guys, trick number five, fakey big spin. Let's do it. Fakey big spin. So you're riding in a fakey ollie position with your footing. This is more of a scooping motion like it is with a shove it and you're gonna be turning your body around. Don't worry about popping it. You can do that later on. But you can see I'm starting to rotate my shoulders and upper body a little bit as I scoop my back foot. My front foot is literally just lifting up and guiding the board and then getting out of the way. You can see here my back foot scooping and pushing behind me. We talk about the scissor motion in the uh, first five tricks before the ollie. I'll put a link if you haven't watched that so you can check it out. And then it's okay to land in a half manual position and continue the rotation. All right, all my skaters, this is the five tricks to learn after the ollie, part two. I appreciate you watching. If you like the material, do me a favor, hit that like button. Go ahead, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. It's really gonna help the channel grow and help us continue to learn from each other. Otherwise, guys, we'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, get out there, get after it.